All right, Tanner, we're here to talk today about the running backs. Maybe my number one position group, the guy, the position group I'm probably most excited about mm -hmm. coming this offseason. Again, that's for a couple reasons. That's because we've got Gibson, McKissick coming back. We've got, uh, you know, the young guy, Robinson, Robinson. coming to Alabama. But w I think Gibbs, Gibson's upside is something that gets me really excited. Here we just get a nice insert by the tight end, and Gibson just makes an excellent read. And this is what makes him special, man. When yeah. you give him space, he can do special things. He's a big, strong, physical dude. Home run hitter. He's one of those guys that he's shown so much growth, tremendous growth yeah. throughout the years. And you keep harping on just some of the things that he does. And you say, like, man, only if he played the position yeah. a little longer. But that's giving you that upside or or that 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 expectation that yeah. he's going to overcome that and really be dominant. Absolutely. And I think that's the other thing is, like, he's still learning the position. You see that all the time. And here I love this play because he does an excellent job setting this up. This is outside zone. Everyone's pushing their landmarks. See how flat everybody is. And watch him stretch and watch the patience here to kind of set these blocks up, wait for the cutback. You see his eyes, his mm -hmm. shoulders still pushing the way. Everyone's sinking their blocks, love that. And then again, you just see a big, fast, physical dude who can finish runs. And when he's in space, man, he's a oh, dangerous man. player, right? He's hitting the goalposts. Uh, he's absolutely right. And then probably the guy that is probably most underrated in the backfield, people don't talk about it a lot coming off the injury, is McKissick. And yeah. I think he is just a great satellite space player, right? Yeah. Here he is one-on-one -on -one with a linebacker and watch him just say, I'm gonna win this and win the game for, for the Washington football team with this touchdown or this big play. Again, not many running backs have that ability, you know, former wide receiver. Mm -hmm. Well, you get a guy who played the position, played receiver, and now he's he's in a he's in a small shell. So you can put him at at both. You can try yeah. him in the slot. You can put him in the backfield. But he plays the backfield for us, and he yeah. does a great job on third down, just making play after play coming out of the backfield. Absolutely. And again, that's what the NFL is about today: is finding mismatches. He's yeah. a mismatch weapon. Again, this was, this is a broken play. Here he is, kind of leaking out of the backfield right here. And again, give him the ball in space and he can make things happen. Because mm -hmm. this linebacker, I got, I played in Atlanta, this is Deion Jones right here. He ran a 4-3-7 at his pro day and watched McKissick just eat this angle up and say, no, thank you, yeah. I'm bye gonna bye. go for six. And he's, again, that's what that speed and athleticism, that mismatch ability does for you. And then the guy that I'm probably like most excited about mm -hmm. is Robinson, right? Yeah. Because like you said, what do you what do you call him? He's a pure what? Yeah, he's a pure runner. He's yeah, one of those guys. Runner. Everything is just natural. You yeah. look at him, you say, man, he's a guy that we haven't had for so many years. Yes. We need that guy that can run between the tackles when things got hard. Yeah. Those those critical downs, and yes. we've been searching. I think we have. I think one. it is. And yeah. here's a great example, right? So every run play is designed to get you back to an unblocked player, and they're going to block this receiver here, and that's this guy, right? And what does the running back do when it when it comes time to get to that unblocked player? And you got to bring your own blocker, and he does an excellent job of this. Says, no, thank you. Amen. I'm going on the next thing. And then you see the power. You see the physicality. And, again, that's what people think of when they see him, right? When they talk about it, he's a big guy, yeah, 225 big guy. pounds. But, again, he, like you said, he's a pure runner. So, here, the O-line messes this up. We're getting a safety blitz here. This guy's going to play over the top. The O-line doesn't get it blocked. But watch. It doesn't matter for him because he knows he's, if he's patient, Look at those shoulders. Love mm -hmm. those shoulders, setting up all these blocks. And again, his ability to put the foot in the ground and make that guy, look at this guy. What's that guy doing right there? <laughs> Having, checking that guy's shoelaces out. Open but, the mama ain't seen Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, again, the ability to make people miss. And like you said, I love how you pointed this out. He's a complimentary piece to Gibson because he's a pure yeah. running back. Yeah. So, man, I get super fired up seeing all three of those guys in the same backfield. And I'm just so excited to see what they do, especially behind this offensive line. No doubt.